like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning, like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Visit stogiegeeks.com forward slash debonair for a list of retailers who carry debonair cigars. Buy some today and get a little more debonair. You're on well. So uh, welcome back to the Stogie Geek Show. Um, just want to make a quick announcement on debonair cigars. Um, the long-awaited Indian Ultra Premium, Indian Motorcycle Ultra Premium Cigar Line is going to have its nationwide launch next Friday, September 4th, and it's going to be at Twin Smoke Shop in Londonderry, New Hampshire. So, um, And that shop sounds familiar. It's a shop run by our friend Kurt Kendall, who was on episode 134 of Stogie Geeks. So the Indian motorcycle line is uh, really a tribute to the Americana of, uh, style of those motorcycles. And I kind of couldn't think of a better place to launch that line because it kind of fits in with whole Kurt's whole theme of nostalgia there. And that's oh, a brand absolutely. new shop, right, Will? Uh, beautiful. Yeah, he line. just redid that. Nice. Yep. Great. It's going to be a super event. Phil so, will be there. Phil will be well, there. In Mr. Zangi. Welcome, welcome back. To, we, we've uh, grown in numbers here in the studio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We welcome back, everyone. Uh, Mr. Stogie Santa is to my left. Mr. Mike Bellotti has joined us as well. Uh, so, Mike, are you going to give some cigars away for this? <laughs> <laughs> this will be, a, this will be a weekly Imperia <laughs> giveaway here on the show now. <laughs> Just by the way, we've been together since last week. Yeah, that's so right. It that's looks right. the same. <laughs> Perhaps one of the funnier moments when I asked Mike that on the show. No, like, well, now I have to say yes. <laughs> that was I'm like, I'm going to use that. I love that. Everybody that's comes. That's so, Nick, you're going to give some cigars away? <laughs> right? I was just going to say, I, I'm glad I didn't get called out. <laughs> <laughs> Too late um, now. Give out some, no, completely hey, We still have this segment and another one, Nick. So. Oh, great. All right. So, uh, um, this is the Debonair Ideal segment. Uh, love this segment because we get to talk about really, like, whatever we want and just talk about a topic that... Can I talk someone? about that advertisement? Unbelievable. Uh, you did a nice Zangy, job, right? Man. God bless you. That Both our sponsors, Defiant Whiskey and Debonair Cigars, had commercials produced by different companies, but they both, I mean, they both came out fantastic, oh, isn't man, it? It's that, awesome, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that really... Drew but do they make it woman for you next, next? What's that? Debonair... Make it woman or, you know... Yeah. Debonair's got the sexiness factor classy, going on, though. though. That was... <laughs> sexy, you know, classy, sexy, classy, classy, yeah. yeah. elegante. Oh, kind of like this table. That's right. Yeah, exactly. And well, count the guys at the table, you know? So I want to talk about this Debonair Ideal segment about cigar cutters and lighters, and specifically ones that you would carry every day. Over the years, I've amassed this large collection of all kinds of cutters and lighters, and uh, I try and put them in different categories, and I try to start to think about ones that I would just keep with me every day, because I have a problem. I always need to have a cigar, and like my real problem is if I don't have a cigar with me, like that's a problem, and then once you have a cigar, the second problem is, well, I, I got to cut it, and I got to light it, and I've, I'm not very talented when it comes from peeling the cap off the end. Doesn't it, work out for you? It doesn't work out no. for me, dude. Like, I hear stories about, you know, the epic cigar rollers and blenders. Who yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, you that, a nice ben, is that a bench made? This bench yeah, made, it's nice. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice. Very nice. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a little nervous <laughs> right now. <laughs> I got my fancy clothes on, so I don't have my pocket knife on me. I'm sure that's your excuse, too. Yeah, like you, you your fancy exactly clothes right. on. You debonair yeah. yourself there. Well, thank you. I don't know. He looks like a little kind of... So if you guys have... gay. Thank you. Not that there's anything wrong with That's a compliment, dude. Dude, that's a compliment. <laughs> that is. Great. <laughs> that means I'm very stylish, That's right? right. I agree. Um, so I, I've never had much luck. And I don't know, Nick, you spend a lot of time in Nicaragua. A few days. Do you, I mean, few do you days carry a cutter few. and lighter? I mean, you carry a lighter because you got to light it with something. But do you carry a cutter with you? Or uh, of course. do you just peel the, like, I peel the cap off and I don't have a lot of success doing I'm, that. You know, I'm old school in the sense that I like to really chew on my cigar sometimes. Mm -hmm. You'll see, I mean, I like to really get into it. So. 
if I don't have a cutter, I'm definitely uh, yeah. I, I've learned it how unravels. To like you peel it. the cap off, I find it just unravels. No, peeling with your hand, unless you're developing your fingernails. I mean, I got gotcha. uh, Otherwise, I'm using my teeth, just getting the you know yeah. end off there. I'm chewing the end of the cap just I a actually, little bit. I started peeling the cap off, and I'm like, oh wait, my lighter has a punch on it. Like I'm gonna try that first because I suck at this. Like punches are yeah, punches punch. work in yeah. a pinch. They work. I, I I mean I know we're gonna get into it, but I yeah, I, care. So I have a special yeah, cutter I always I, carry. Uh, so what I've been developing is like uh, a cutter and a lighter that I carry with me all the time. So like your pocket knives that you brought up, that's a great example of right. stuff that you would put on you all the time. I, I like to carry a pocket knife and I like to carry a cutter because you don't want to use your, your pocket knife to cut a cigar. I mean, you, you guys are broke, broke. In a pinch. In a pinch it might work, but in general you want a, you want a, a proper cutter or scissors or it something. Helps, yeah. So, I mean, the factors that I had to keep in mind are size, weight, price, versatility, and durability. And that goes for both your cutter and your lighter. Uh, so with me, I like to carry, and I'm glad you brought these, is the, the scissors. I don't know if we've got a camera that we can zoom in on that. These Excuse are the me. Zycar scissors. And for me, this is because they fold up, right? Like I can fold these up. It's yes. even got a loop. You can put it on your keychain. Yes. This for me is the ultimate everyday carry. It's light. It's small. Uh, it cuts your cigar your great. It this. fits on your keychain. It's even got some extra tools. You can open a beer with it. You can bleach your lighter with it. It's got a screwdriver you can open on it. Box the cigar box with it. Open yeah. cigar boxes. Yeah. And what what is this tool with the little? That is, I believe, for the nail potentially. For yes, the, box. the nail in the box. box. To open, yeah. box. To open up the box. That's, box. Yeah. That's correct. This is the perfect cigar. I mean, these are like what thirty bucks. I mean, yours is gold and fancy, so it was probably yeah, like two hundred. Yeah, you know, my man something. Scott over there at Sidecar <laughs> yeah. um, hooked me up, and um, this is uh, this has been my cutter for. I can't tell you how long nice. because for me, being on the production floor yeah. and also when I'm rolling up out of bales and stuff, they're usually longer, so I get to cut them. Oh, you I understand see. what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it really works down on the production floor really well, too. Nice. Wow. I like the gold. That's pretty fancy. Yeah, I usually go with the black, but I, this is a special day, so I brought my gold cutter. Oh, and I see. I you got all fancy. fancy I got Deb on. and hair on <laughs> it, you know. <laughs> so, Will, what, what do you like to carry as your everyday cutter? I, in the last few months, and I've talked a lot about this product, the Credo mm. Special Tea. I it's the cutter that. with oh. that, that thing's awesome, dude. That, that, and that, that, that just gives me like, like a circumcision type of thing. Oh. Is, yeah. is that bre- <laughs> 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 I was just kind of nervous. Yeah. <laughs> What's I the? mean, f- $15. The oh, blades nice. stay super sharp. Um, I don't have to worry if I, I lose it. It goes in my pocket easy. It doesn't have a... Uh, a sharp point, but what's great about it is I get full, yeah. perfectly cut my torpedo, oh, just that, like that. That cut really nice. Yeah, I mean, I get a perfect cut every time with this thing, and like I said, for 15 bucks, I've got now a couple of these. If I lose them, I'm not going to get upset about right. it. Um, right. I've been just real, I've been, Nick, I've been using this thing for probably, it was like the week after Memorial Day when I got it, and I've been using it every day now, and is I've been real happy. T- I'm sorry to interrupt you. Is there two? Yeah, there's two. Um, yeah, that's the key thing. So the short one is what you can use for your Bellicoso Figurado torpedoes. Gotcha. And cool. it gives a and it gives like a perfect cut every time. That's with it. smart, right And then there. can you get smart. like a sixty ring in there, Will? Um, probably like a fifty six. Okay, there that's you go. Big enough. Uh, yeah, I mean that's big. You you know, but so, that should be okay. Yeah. So we all c- concur. It seems like we all like a guillotine cut. Yeah, guillotine cut with a scissor. I mean, I mean, I mean that's, that's that's more like a scissor than it is. It, it's a scissor that cuts like a guillotine. Yeah, it, so it's right. not like you're. It's still going to give you a guillotine, but you use a scissor motion to kind of do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I, I like, I, but I like the scissor. Right I like the scissor cut. You can be a little more precise with the the scissor style. I find you can. I mean, you, you really get that cap. You know, you get you know because a you lot take of guys that sliver off. You got to cut that. Cigar, right? You that's know, right. because if you that's cut it, that's a great point. Yes. Yeah, elaborate. Seriously, elaborate well, on so, that. So you know, the formation of the head of the cigar. You know, you see, you have the the head, and you sometimes you have the triple cap. Yeah. That if you cut too low, you're actually cutting below where the cigar is constructed to, for the wrapper to be held together. Mm-hmm. So if you're cutting really below that line, there is the chance sometimes where the wrapper could start mm-hmm. unraveling. Um, so it's very important to cut mm-hmm. just the really, we say it's the gorrito, or the, the cap in Spanish, mm-hmm. it, gorro, which is just the cap on, on the, the top. You see a lot of people that sometimes think you really got to cut into the, no. you know, and they the Perfect they picture right it. over there. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. the way it's cut, just exactly. right at the cap. Yeah. So size, weight, price, versatility, durability, 
scissors or what? And what did you call that one, Will? It's it's the Credo, Credo. Specialty. Credo. Credo. And you can buy C-R-E-D-O. those. C-R-E-D-O. Buy those anyway. You can find those on Amazon, what too. What is the name? I always, I forgot what they classify. Do we know the name of this one? I just call them Zycar Scissors. Zycar Scissors. Yeah, I, I think I they think have, there, a, I'm going to find out. Yeah, there's yeah. probably another name. Yeah. 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 That's something I have. I and should I know have that. a larger version um, at home. They're a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's Zycar, uh-huh. but they're a little bit bigger, and, and they, they work great. They really do. So now, what in terms of a lighter... I, I look for the same characteristics, right? I don't want it to be too big. I don't want it to like weigh in my pocket too much. It's got to be something pretty cheap because I don't want to put a really expensive lighter in my pocket all the time because it gets beat up. Because you might put it in the same pocket as your scissors mm-hmm. or your keys or whatever. You know, it's got to be pretty versatile and, and have some durability to it. Also, with the lighter, I find I got to get something that is really efficient on fuel, like this lighter right here that you're using. Which is a great gift for my wife. It's got my initials on it. It's a great triple flame lighter. It's the best lighter you best ever lighter had. Best lighter you own. However, it will chew through fluid like there's no tomorrow. Like yeah. maybe three cigars. Really? And then it's done. You know? Well, you've got to understand how he lights a cigar. Yeah, 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 MTX. Yeah, Thank you. MTX. Thank you. MTX. Multi, uh, it's MTX Zycar multi-tool. MTX. Yes. Multi-tool. So when it comes to a light, I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this wow. is not one that you would put in your pocket. You know, this is a great lighter from Lotus that I really like, but it's too big to put in your pocket. I, I, just, I, I like the... the pl- Will, do you have one of those handy? That plastic one? one? The, uh, the, the one we were talking about? Yeah. The f- there you go. The, yes, this, that is the one. That is, that the, is one the one right there. CLE, yep. A CLE branded one. I've seen them branded from La Aurora. Um, it's a single flame lighter. It's really light. It's um, cheap. It's 10 bucks. It's super efficient on bucks, fluid. Wow. Super efficient. I mean, you, yeah, I you can't can believe let, how much fluid this thing doesn't use. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's really great, um, and it perfect in your pocket. It doesn't get like the metal doesn't get scratched up mm. because it's plastic. Um, it still looks pretty debonair too, right? I mean, it's not like sure. a heinous looking lighter. It looks pretty nice. That's my everyday carry. If I put a pair of scissors and one of those in my pocket every day, you're good to um, go. I'm good to go. I'm good yeah, to go. I, so I, just, I love single flames. I like I, the single flame too. I find they're more efficient on fluid, right? I got my Dupont. So what? I got oh, my well, foundation. Well, excuse me. I mean, this me. is the single flame Dupont. So See, it's my not the yeah, okay. The so click, the you click, know, yeah. the famous sound. But mm-hmm. right. this one's nice because it's it's a nice size. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not too bulky. What did that running pants. cost though? Those are pretty expensive. You know, or I Dupont don't makes remember a, a wide what range. The co- I think it's in the. It's probably in the hundred range. Yeah, maybe eighty. See, to that's 100. too expensive for me for every day because I might lose it. I'm afraid I'd lose a hundred dollar lighter. Yeah, in my pocket. I can hear. I hear, I hear you. Yeah, you know, I'm that a, one's really. Can I see that? That's yeah, really nice sure, though. Sure. You may not get it back now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Next you know, it's really a great on lighter. fluid also. <laughs> yep. You know? just, like you said, the single it's, flames. I like the little. You've carried this one for a while, Stogie Santa, yeah. and this is a Prometheus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty nice too. So I think what most of us are saying is we carry a single flame. I do. Yeah. I carry this a lot. What, do you guys what is that? The, the Zycar? Is that Zycar the soft flame? Soft flame. Yeah. The Zycar soft yeah. flame is really this nice. This thing's about, I think this is, might be the first one they ever made. It's I've like, had it forever. It's like really? 49, 50 bucks. I'm waiting to cash in on my lifetime warranty. I can't kill the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to hear. What <laughs> I like about the you, soft flame. That's the best thing you can say about yeah. a lot. What I like the soft flame is in the car. I, I find too. a soft flame is nice because in a, with a butane torch, you, know, you mm. go over a bump or something. If your hand moves just a little bit, like half your cigar is torched. Watch, you know what I mean? With the soft out. flame, it, it doesn't yeah. do that. So Yeah, I, to me, that's the, the, the flame. I don't know what your guys' opinion on the, you know, the intensity of this flame mm-hmm. compared to a soft flame lighter. I think this runs around 4,000 degrees, mm-hmm. and that range compared to the soft flames are more in the, I think it's, le- it's like around five 600 degrees comparatively. So wow. I always get a little nervous with... To me, I, I never like you to don't touch. Want to I don't yeah. like to touch this blue flame directly on the tobacco. Right. I see a lot of people do. I just I'm hesitant. You got to hold that. it above. Yep. You got to hold it above. Keep a nice That's distance because yep. I really feel it affects the the, the blend mm-hmm. if you're it's really toasting that tobacco too much. Yep. And that's um, that's a something a story from another time. How to light a cigar. Yeah, we did we did yeah. a segment on that. Actually, mm-hmm. we have a whole series of videos uh, yep. that talk about that. But will now that ten dollar lighter that you have is there a name for that or? Not that I know of. I mean, I believe it's just something that, you know, CLE's branding on yeah. it. And I know, La- you know Aurora branded those, and they give them with their blending kits uh, as well. Mm-hmm. We may have to do a little research on this, and I may be able to ask around on it. 
the other thing that was cool about this is I accidentally left this in my bag when I got on a plane. And, oh, uh, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> and surprisingly... A couple um, of people have done that. Yeah. You know, accidentally did it. And, um, you know, I, you know, it wasn't... TSA didn't find it. They didn't find it. Oh, TSA, they didn't find TSA, it. TSA didn't want it. <laughs> they they want they'll it. take that's that and they'll right. take this. Can but you or two can you not nine. bring a flighter on no. the plane? No. Yes, well, well, quote you, unquote, from what I understand, is soft flame is acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Any any so, butane torch lighter you are not allowed to have in torch. your carry-on. Okay. Or checked. You are not allowed to have it in your checked baggage as well. Now, there are some things you can this, buy sorry. on Amazon. They're like these yellow yeah. tubes. Yeah. That supposedly you can put in your checked bag uh-huh. without fluid in it, and it will get through. However, some people have reported that they even take those. And a lot of what Just I've heard, too, is it. TSA agents will look for, for lighters, and they'll oh. like argue with each other, that who's going to take you. it? Remember it that time? I lost a couple of Zycar lighters that way. Mm-hmm. My recent trip to Vegas, I put one in the yellow tube, and it got through. I also took a, a cheaper lighter that I just threw in my checked bag, and they didn't find it. So you kind of roll the dice when you put it in your checked bag. These are the plastic ones that Will has. Mm-hmm. I've heard people that put them in their checked bags and their carry-on. And because I think there's very little metal in it, that TSA just doesn't, no. it doesn't, I, I doesn't pick up TSA on it. I think TSA looks at it and say, do yeah. we want this or do we, do yeah, we not? Yeah, it's a cheap lighter. Yeah, I don't exactly. want it. But they're only, the one that Will has is only 10 bucks. So I 10 mean, bucks. If, if you lose so, it, but it's, like, lose it. it's kind of whatever. Right. So it's worth the risk to yeah. me. And it's a good lighter to have with you uh, when you travel. It's very wind resistant. This is a really good lighter if it's windy out, by the way. Yeah. Um, it really holds good. Yeah, so you don't need to spend a lot of money on a lighter. I mean, ten, yeah. those are 10 bucks, so it's yeah. pretty awesome. That, that's it. Anyway. I do find you have to, it needs a little more pressure to kind of ignite it, but that's it's not yeah. too bad. It's probably not as. It's interesting. We've done Debonair ideals when we talked about the most expensive lighters. What did, we, did we get up to five thousand or ten thousand? Oh, we had some crazy. It was some crazy the one, lighters. The one with the diamonds or whatever. It was one that was like forty thousand dollars, and it had diamonds on it and everything. Dude, that, but to light your cigar, you can spend ten bucks, dude. The bottom line is spend the spend your money on the cigar. Spend your money on the cigar. That's yeah. some wise advice. That's some wise advice. Well put. That's my well new tagline. My new ad. <laughs> spend your money on cigars. Fuck the lighters. <laughs> I like it. I like Support it. Support your manufacturer That's of cigars. It. That's anyway. It. There goes the explicit Very tag. Cool. <laughs> well, that is our debonair ideal segment for this evening. And we're going to take a very short break. A very short. And we're going to come back. And then we're going to do our Stogies of the Week. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. This I got a Stogie. Is- 